I was sent this dock here from Mini Soparu. I've actually reviewed one of their docks before. It was a uh, Mac Mini dock and basically that and built an NVMe look pretty good. They asked me if I wanted to review this and I was happy with the previous product, so I said yes. It's got some weight to it, so I think it's obviously gonna be very well designed. Okay, and there's the dock there. We'll set that set. It's got definitely got some weight to it. Yep. That's the power supply there, so you get your big power brick, 140 watts, because it has power delivery and also supports you know lots of dongles and things like that so you do have to have a decent amount of power going into it all kinds of stuff under here looks like we get a oh this is really cool so it gets a usb a to c adapter Pretty cool uh you get your drivers which is nice you don't have to go to a website you just plug in this and you get your drivers that's actually cool so they're obviously not you know cutting corners here this is a nice little metal usb with your drivers on it, very good. You get your obviously your USB-C here. So that's gonna be connected to your uh, device. Power goes into the outlet there. Uh, so it's probably a support thing. Support, and then your little informational dock here. So let's just look at this card here and see what they say for specs. So, so you can see here, uh, Thunderbolt 3, Thunderbolt 4. So you get two different speeds, I suppose. Right, so if you're just using generic USB-C to A, plugging that in, you're not going to get the full bandwidth, but if you're using Thunderbolt 3 or 4, you can see here, uh, you're going to get 4K 60, 4K 60, and then the third display can do, uh, looks like 4K 60 as well. Nice metal build, very, very, not exactly light, and you don't want it to be light, because this, you know, it is portable, you can take it with you, but this is the type of dock you actually want to have sitting around, right? And it, nice grip there. So it's an all metal chassis too, so that's good. Any type of heat you're going to get out of this thing, because you're putting a lot of power in, should dissipate. It has a little bit of um, area to get some heat off as well, to radiate it out. But the actual the whole device will radiate some heat out, which is good. So you get uh, power there, headphone, microphone, combo jack, full-size uh, SD, mini SD. So I'll test out that there. Three USB-A. This one does support power. So if you're like charging something, you know, like a phone or something like that, you could charge it. So three USB-A. Two USB-C, you can see there. Uh, this one does 45 watt power delivery, so I can charge my uh, laptop. This one does 22 watt, which you could charge like a phone. On the back, we get our power. That's going to give you the full wattage there, so that's going to go to your PC. So, you know, if you're charging your PC, you plug it into there. My laptop, 85 is more than my laptop needs, but we'll plug that into there. And you can still charge two more devices at the same time. So you could do, you know, your laptop, and then you could do a second device there, and a third device there. So that's pretty awesome. RJ45 Ethernet and your three display outs. So this is a pretty serious dock. Okay, so let's put that there. I'm going to use a ThinkBook, ThinkPad for this video, um, just to change it up. I often use Legions and Macs and things like that. Let's change it up and let's go with the ThinkPad here. So this one goes into the back, which is the primary one for the PC. You can see that there. Um, I don't know if it'll get power unless I turn it on. Let's see here. Press the power button, light turned on. You can see that there. Oh, it's getting all kinds of stuff. No microphone, power is kicking up. Okay, so we'll start with this display here. We'll go uh, HDMI for this here. That'll load up. I'm gonna bring a cable from the other side of the room. Here's my other screen here. These videos always get so messy because I always have so many cables because I'm not like setting it up, but you know, normally you tuck this away. Like if, you know, when I'm done with this, I'll put it under here or something or over here. Um, actually, I actually need a dock right now. So, you know, I'll sit over here or something like that. And then when I'm I'll plug these monitors into here. So then when I'm trying to test things, you know, I don't need to undo all these cables and stuff. I can just plug them directly into the dock. So anyway, so 4K there, we can see, let's check the specs here. Obviously they're gonna be 4K. So that's at, this one here is at 4K, or basically 4K 60, it's a different aspect ratio. And then this one is just normal 4K. I'll have to set that one to 60 probably too. Once you do this the first time in theory, it should stick. Okay, I just plugged in another screen. So now I have <laughs> now I have so many screens. Uh, yeah, so it does support three screens. Uh, it, this is mini HDMI to HDMI. Uh, you can see there. Um, so HDMI, 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 they all work. Straightforward. So it is, in fact, a triple display. Okay, and so with 400 screens in front of me, let's start testing some things, uh, some other devices here. So we have this little TF card, as they call it, or SD card this thing. I have some very fast USBs. These go up to like 300 megabytes a second or so. Awesome. This is a USB-C with an NVMe inside of it. SSD, 
Uh, we'll go over, we could do A or C. Let's go over USB-A. Okay, so I mean, obviously it's charging my laptop. We're getting that there. Yeah, so it's supplying wattages, 11. So my phone's working. Yeah, so I mean, I went from, this laptop here only has a single storage device. Uh, local disk, now I have USB, uh, USB, SSD, SSD, another USB, and a phone all plugged in, and they're all working. Alrighty, so I cleaned up the desk here. I took all the uh, HDMI cables out here just because it was there was just way too much. I know that like normally when I test these things, I kind of just go for it because I want to make sure we get all the tests, but there was a lot of cables here because this thing accepts a lot of input. Okay, so it's a SD card and it's getting SD card speed. So <laughs> under a second, um, that is exactly what I anticipate. Uh, what else can we test here? Let's test, uh, I don't know, F, whatever F is. I'm not Okay, uh, Samsung bar produces approximately 300 megabytes a second speeds, and we're getting about 300 megabytes a second speed. So that's exactly as anticipated. This is probably boring, but I'm gonna cut a lot of this. Yeah, so 900, that's about right. So that's you know 10 gigabit uh, speeds here out of this uh, NVMe here. So that looks good. Uh, one more thing we need to test is the RJ45 ethernet. Okay, and there we go. I did my test there. I have gigabit ethernet. I usually get about 900-ish to 1,000 range, usually it's closer to 900, and we're getting that there. So you can see here the download speeds are 913, and the upload speeds are 930. For some reason, my uploads are always faster, which seems backwards. So it's working. So all the ports seem to work fine, I guess. Uh, what do we say about a dock that works exactly as advertised? We say that it's a good dock. And then, of course, here's something that I find extremely compelling. This is my Lenovo Legion Go. Uh, you could you know, use an ROG Ally or a Steam Deck or something like that. And the nice thing about this is you have access to touchscreen at the same time. So, you know, you can actually use this for basic, you know, touchscreen interface type of things, you know, simple, whatever you're trying to do there. And then you can have a full desktop setup. This is the Z1 Extreme APU, which is basically the same as what's in my ThinkPad. If you have a device like this, the Legion Go, or you have an ROG Ally, or you have a Steam Deck, you can turn them into a desktop PC very easily, right? Like you can see here now, I could actually use this as work. You know, I could take this with me, play games on it, you know, go about my day. When I come home, I can plug it into my dock here, and now I have a full actual desktop setup. And the benefit of that is, you know, because this is a Windows machine, this act, the Legion Go actually has two plugs, which is quite nice. You know, I can actually hook up dongles and things like that, right? So, you know, I'm going to have limited storage on a device like this. It's basically whatever's internal, but then you can hook up NVMe enclosures, right? So I can have SSDs hooked up into this. I can have more SSDs hooked up into this. You know, even you, you can even get hard drive enclosures like this where you put in a gigantic hard drive and then you can get access to incredible amounts of storage. So, you know, the fact that these new handhelds are coming out that are quite literally Windows PCs, just in a handheld form factor, you know, you have a Windows device that you're taking with you all the time. You can bring it home, you can plug it in and you have an actual Windows device, right? The only negative is you don't have like natural keyboards and mice, things like that. So. You know, you can actually take a device like this and turn one of these new Windows handhelds, the Legion Go, the ROG Ally, you know, there's other brands as well, and turn them into dedicated desktop hardware. You know, sometimes reviews are easy to do. You know, some of my reviews can be kind of complicated and I have to go through all this extensive testing and they're a pain in the butt. This isn't one of them. This dock works exactly as it is advertised. There's no weird quirks about it, it just works. So it's an all metal design, uh, does not get hot whatsoever. It accepts 140 watt power in, which allows you to power a lot more devices. It does supply 85 watts to my laptop. You know, this ThinkPad goes up to 65 watts. It was totally fine. Charges that, gives you your data. RJ45 Ethernet does supply gigabit Ethernet. I was getting about 930, perfectly fine. All of these displays do work. I was getting 4K60 out of them. Uh, this one only, I only have a 1080p, but two 4K60, and then I did a 1080p out of that. And then on the flip side over here, we have our two USB-C ports, and they both work exactly as anticipated. Uh, they do supply power, as they are expected to supply power. They do have 10 gigabit speeds, and everything seems to be good. I like good docks, and I like this company here, Mini Soparu. They seem like, a, you know, they're not like a major massive brand that's doing, you know, like Dell or Lenovo or something like that. But from what I've seen from them, they're actually really good. They all have they have very solid reviews on you know Amazon. These aren't just like single cases where I review something and everyone else gets really bad results. From what I've seen, they have very outstanding reviews on online forums and that. So, um, you know, this is a good one here. So if you're interested, you know, we can have a look at the website and see what the pricing is, but I think it's pretty good.